Hi everyone, Mrs V here and today we are going to be learning about the effect of the surface area of solid reactants on the rate of a chemical reaction. So let's get our PowerPoint on. It's going to be a quick one, but we are going to learn a lot. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how breaking solid reactants into smaller pieces can increase the rate of a chemical reaction. When solid reactants are used in a large lump, the rate of reaction is slow. This is because only the surface of the solid is exposed to the other reactant. Here we see a solid lump of magnesium reacting with the hydrochloric acid. The acid can only collide with the atoms on the very surface of the lump. The atoms of magnesium in the center of the lump can't actually access the acid. The number of collisions between reactants is being limited, so the reaction rate is limited. If we broke that piece of magnesium into small pieces, there is a much greater surface area of magnesium being exposed to the acid. As the particle size becomes smaller, the total exposed surface area becomes larger. If we take a 2 cm by 2 cm by 2 cm block, it has six faces, each 2 cm by 2 cm. So the total surface area is 24 cm squared. If we chop it in half, now we have two blocks, each 2 cm by 1 cm by 2 cm, and the total surface area now is 32 cm squared. If we chop each of these in half, the total surface area is now 40 cm squared. Now there are many collisions that can occur between the acid and the magnesium atoms. We know that increasing the number of collisions will statistically increase the number of effective collisions. Of course, the scientific way to say effective collisions is collisions between molecules with correct orientation for new bond formation and a sum of kinetic energy greater than or equal to the activation energy for the reaction. Now we see a thin foil of magnesium reacting with the hydrochloric acid and we can see that the reaction is faster. So in summary, increasing the surface area of solid reactants leads to more of the solid being exposed to the other reactant. This increases the rate of collisions, which statistically increases the rate of effective collisions. This increases the rate of reaction. That's all for today. If you found this video useful, then please consider giving it a like. And as always, please subscribe to my channel, watch some more videos, keep learning about chemistry. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.